And we are live here uh, on the D2 channel. It's great to be here again, uh, back again with a new challenge. This is so much fun, isn't it, Fabio? Jason, my man, we're, we never stop, right? It just goes and goes. <laughs> it keeps going, it keeps going. And today we are together with Andreas Lundgren of tomorrow. Andreas, what's going on, man? Hi, man. Hi guys, nice to my meet you. Man. No, I'm fine, thank you, and uh, thanks for having me. It's we're very happy. Here. We're very happy to have you here, and we're honored of having the the tomorrow challenge over at the T at the D2. We're going to have a lot of fun. There is a lot of people watching. We are very excited to get this started. Jason, how's your morale? How do you feel about this? I feel great. I'm like super excited about it. Um, we're really excited to have this uh, happening here. And uh, I think we've got a pretty cool challenge. Uh, they've got a pretty good challenge lined up, you know, for us. So uh, I hope that- Before, uh, before we jump yeah. into the actual challenge, why don't we give a shout out to our sponsors and all of our friends, which are helping us making this possible, uh, such as Maxon, Evermotion, uh, Deposit Photos, Sinai Software, just to name a few. This is just the beginning. We have more sponsors yeah. and more support coming in as the days will pass. It's a lot of like uh, coordinating and uh, you know making sure that all the information comes at the right place at the right time on yeah. our end. And I, I yeah, there there definitely will be some other things coming in uh, during the course of the challenge. So. Um, also, pools actually yeah. pools. They jumped pools. on uh, on uh, yeah. on uh, on the challenge today. Actually, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're excited about that. We we think it's great to have prizes to offer to the to the top three finalists. And uh, once again, we'll have this. So um, it just gives a little extra motivation. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think that that's why people do the challenges uh, to get the prizes but it's definitely a nice bonus. Very true. Anyway, Jason, why don't we introduce Andreas or let Andreas introduce himself yes. and tell us a little bit more about uh, what is the tomorrow challenge and then we'll get to the meat and potatoes of the actual uh, D2 edition of the challenge. Andreas, yeah, hey. why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about you, about your company and about the challenge? Hey, thanks for a great introduction, guys. So, uh, my name is Andreas, and uh, I am one of the founders of Tomorrow, a company that uh, we started about 16 years ago. And, uh, you know, at that time, our quiz was not that developed as it is these days. Uh, there were not that many standardized workflows, and uh, we kind of had to invent our thing, our uh, everything ourselves from workflows, from assets, from scratch, basically. So, and I think that is also some of the reason, I mean, why we actually started the Tomorrow Challenge and some of the things that we want to uh, get from this is kind of let artists, because I know all of you that the people that are shipping, I mean, are super busy. They have, usually they have a day job to go to and people put in hours on their free time. So for us, this is also like a way of uh, be part of the community, but I will also say like, challenge the community actually uh, have some time focus on something that is not work related but also at the same time actually capture that very essence that i started talking about like that love for innovation trying uh, new things and actually yeah in the end become uh, learn something and become a better artist so that's some background about why we actually started uh, the challenge uh, how, how many years have you been been doing this challenge Wow, I think it's about like, is it like, maybe it's the sixth year now, actually. Wow. I can also just fill in and say, we actually started at, as a, like more, maybe a promotion thing where we wanted to source or find new talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's so interesting to see what has grown out from that, because that was the main starting point. And uh, in the past challenges, we have some really amazing people participating and also a lot of the people that has been winning the competition and also have other uh, places. I mean, in the, in, the, in, the, in the top, they actually ended up starting from working at Tomorrow. And yeah. honestly, I am really, really proud to say that 
all of these people that has been, uh, they have after, I mean, some are still in tomorrow, some have ventured on other, uh, other journeys, but still, I'm really proud to say that all of them have become some of the most talented in the industry and been very successful in their private work. So I think that's a, a good starting point. Yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah, and we're very happy now to have the chance to be the hosts of this challenge. And this is one of the reasons why <clears throat> we started the challenges ourselves on our own channels, um, because we wanted to help people pushing themselves and you know reach new uh, targets or new goals. And so I guess that you know us putting our strengths together, um, it's going to hopefully give a chance for people to make their next step in their career. So we're very happy that this is happening. But anyway, should we, Jason, talk a little bit about the challenge itself? Yeah, what definitely. is the topic? What will have? Uh, what will people have to do for this competition? I was just, yeah, I was just dropping in the in the comments there. If anybody has a question, that you know, to to, to show, shoot it out to us. Um, yeah, so I think the best way, I, I would like to start off by just playing a video, which is a, an intro video to this. It's a very short video, and I'll share the screen so you guys can also see it. Can you see that? I can, yeah. yeah. We're live. Put this over here. I'm going to, I'm just hiding some things, so it's a... Uh, Looks nicer. Okay, I'm gonna play this, guys. Yeah, that that really okay. got me pumped, also. <laughs> So we, I, I've still got the, the sorry, I, I still got this up here because I want to show um, some of the things that some of the assets that will be included. But uh, let, while we're doing that, we can talk about, you know, what the challenge is, Fabio, if you want to. So basically, the challenge, it's very simple. We are uh, asking the community to build the, what they think the first settlement on Mars should look like. It's a very open competition. You can go as crazy as you want. Ideally, we want to see your modeling skills. We want to see your ability to make beautiful competi uh, compositions. We want to see your ability to work with colors, although, you know, Mars will probably be a red rendering. <laughs> but, you know, push yourself. It'll have uh, a reddish bend. tint. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Just make a beautiful image and then put a color correction in Photoshop on top. <laughs> make it all red. The guys at Tomorrow, they were kind enough to give us a bunch of assets, a bunch of 3D models. Uh, the yep. question that I have for Andreas is, oh, sorry, Jason, you wanted no, to ask Let me just show this real quick. So we have some, there are some general assets, which would be some you know filler buildings. You can feel, feel free to... You, you actually don't have to use these. You could create your own if you want, but I would say that a combination would probably be good if you have some ideas about, you know, uh, what the, what these living quarters or these uh, these uh, structures would be like on Mars, then you are you should create those and that should be part of your, your uh, visualization. But there's, so these general buildings, there's, I'm gonna give a close up of this. Um, there's a, a rover, which is a nice little rover, nicely modeled. Um, and then we have the surface, uh, there's a Mars surface model as well, which can be downloaded. Um, these are these are purposely left untextured. Um, that's part of the challenge is to texture these things uh, and to make them look good. We, we want to see how well you can do that as well. So that's a part of it. Um, yeah, so Fago, go ahead. Well, you know, uh, now the question that I have for Andreas is, Andreas, what do you expect from those who will enter the competition? Uh, what, are, what are your expectations? What do you look forward to see from those who um, accept the challenge? Yeah, so in the past challenges, I mean, we've been uh, focused on different locations, I mean, different cities, basically, around the world. Uh, but 
we thought that this time we wanted to actually like switch it up a level and also give people some more creative freedom. But what I expect here is not for, for people to go like crazy sci-fi bananas, uh, rather to actually give it a lot of thoughts. I mean, as you all know, there's a lot of uh, things happening at the moment, you know, Elon is doing a lot of interesting things. Big is building more uh, moon bases and everything. So, and uh, like the entire like space program is alive again. So I think what I kind of expect is, uh, well, I want to take away some of the constraints as it's maybe been in the previous competitions, but also give participants a chance to actually be able to create this uh, authentic settlement. So I think one, the two most important drivers would be like innovation as one, because I mean, nobody has basically been on Mars. So I mean, there's a lot of hurdles uh, or obstacles to actually uh, take care of. And second would also, uh, uh, I mean, not only the innovation part, but also it should feel uh, credible, like in terms of design, it should work. So I think like, uh, I mean, as usually, I mean, for us in tomorrow, I always say it's always about the design, design, design. So I think here people actually have a chance to put on the designer hat and will actually have some fun and in the end make something that is believable. And actually, because of the complexity of this challenge, we have decided to extend the deadline and not make it into a three weeks project. Yeah. It's going to be actually a five weeks project, right, Jason? Yeah, the deadline is going to be June 15th uh, at, you know, 11.59 p.m. Uh, uh, Central European summertime. So uh, that all that information will be in the link at the uh, that will drop in the description after this is over. Um, make sure you go there and read all the rules. But the point is that the, we are adding a couple of weeks to this because uh, we would like people to have the time to actually think about this, do a little research uh, and create something amazing, uh, additional to just doing a visualization. Perhaps there's some work that can be done um, additionally. Yeah, and also like, okay, so let's talk a little bit um, in terms of um, strategy, right? Because people are going to ask us these questions. Are um, teamwork allowed? Yes, but for the, um, the actual evaluation of the project, we cannot really take those in consideration for applying for a job because you know we, they cannot be judged the same way as we would judge a single person. You can still enter and you can still run, I guess, for you know uh, the the winning project, but when it comes to the uh, job interview and job application, we will yeah. give priority I, to the... I just wanted to add that that was part of the discussion of this, uh, this project was that it's not, it's not specifically that a prize is a job at tomorrow, but yes. there is the possibility that someone who uh, has created something amazing might be contacted uh, afterwards, um, and it, not necessarily the winner, but someone, it could be that someone create something that doesn't win, but it still could be someone that might, you might, you would still might get the potential contact. And the idea is that we would like to let teams be involved in this, but in that case, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to have something, you know, like uh, my, you might not be contacted directly because of that, because then it's becoming a little bit, we're not, we're not, you know, ruling it out, but it's just, you know, be aware. Jason, that, can, can people enter with animation? You don't mind adding. Oh, sorry, Andreas. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh, no, I think like, as, as you said, I mean, teamwork is allowed, but I think like submissions should be individually. And also if you submit as a part of a team, you should also uh, show what has been your contribution, like only your parts. Okay, it should, it should be noted at least, right? We, we can, this, this can be on the submission, just we can have this, uh, we'll have a place for that to be put in, like what was done by who on the team. Because um, I know, I, I mean, I know for a fact, I'm thinking of some, people in my mind right now I know who I know work together always on our challenges and they do kind of split it like the modeling and the Photoshop it's like and I, th I think that's great but you know it just if it would be nice to know what is done by who that's that's totally true um, sorry Poppy what were you gonna say you said I was asking can yes. people enter with animations yes why not blow us away <laughs> 
we will still judge the image. So if you do make an animation, please make sure that you enter with uh, an image. Obviously, you know, since I would guess that a lot of people will enter because of the possibility of having a conversation with you guys for a job, that the animation will support your case. Uh, but we will still judge only the, the images because this is the easier format for everybody to enter. Of course, if you do make an animation, do enter it. We don't have a problem with showing it as well. This, this time is... we're not... No, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, Fabio. This time we're not limited only to one image. That's also an That's important what I thing. Say. Okay? <laughs> and so you can enter more than one image if you like. Obviously, for the run to the first, we're only going to consider one image. But of course, if you want to enter more than one, that's totally fine with us. It's a lot yeah, of things. That that's to but that's together. the thing. This this will all all of this information is going to be on the website. That will be the final place to consult always for the rules. Yes. You know, not this video. You should look there because that will be where the things will be the most updated um, and clear. <laughs> but I think it is clear. It should be clear, clearly noted that. As always, when we do our live judging on the final, we'll have a selection of around 25 images, which we've pre-selected, which will be discussed. Exactly. And if you do multiple images, you won't have two in there. You'll, you're, you'll only get to have one in there, but you are allowed yes. to send as many images as you want. Um, we will be the ones that then decide, if we see that you sent five images, we will decide which one is, is chosen for the last uh, to be shown, if it's, you know, a, a, if it's good enough to be shown, then we'll only choose one. Just want to be clear about that because I don't want people to think, "Oh, well, I did five images. Why, why are you show, aren't, aren't you showing all five of my images?" But yeah. yeah, I think that's a great point. I just also want to add, like in some of the past challenges, we had a lot of people. I mean, they really put in the hours and overperformed. I mean, I'm really impressed by like the contributions uh, that people have been uh, doing. Uh, but also, I, I mean. Whether you do animation or one or in the number of still renders, I think like the two things that would be most important that what we always value is like consistency and also quality above everything. Actually, Andreas, this is a, a very good segue because I wanted to know what do you expect from this competition? What do you uh, hope to see from the entries of those who will participate? I think I want people to take some creative liberties. I mean, I think that basically it's all about pushing boundaries, right? I mean, try new things and also step out of your comfort zone a bit. And I mean, like really challenge yourself. I mean, do, I mean, it should be fun, of course. And I think that kind of shines through the end result. But if, if you really put your heart, your soul and your thought into something, I think like the result that comes out in the end that actually is what sets something great apart from something that is not as great. Jason, what do you hope to see in this challenge? Well, I'm, I, I have to say that I'm, I'm actually, it's cool, I think, that we're coming back around to doing some architecture visualization again, even, and it's kind of with a twist because we're doing it in a not on earth, you know, so, um, but I think in the end it is going to be still along the lines of the of the architecture visualization in the sense, like Andrea said, that um, uh, the things should be realistic in the sense that they should be able to work and it should be sort of a realistic depiction of something. Um, and I'm glad that we're getting back to that because I feel like we have a lot of people following us who would who really want to do this. Um, and I think that some of our other challenges were a little more abstract uh, and d required a little a lot more thinking about um, maybe, you know, exactly what exactly is it that we're doing. <laughs> and I think for, for this challenge, it's getting back into kind of the zone of what people are used to doing. So I think we'll, I think we're going to see a lot of really amazing stuff. I, I really do. I'm, I'm, and I'm excited about that. Yeah. I guess and, uh, uh, one, one, sorry guys, you want point from me. I think like, uh, I expect to see a lot of great work, of course, but if you don't e end up getting contacted by tomorrow, I, what I would like to see, I mean, it should be a solid portfolio or solid work that, I mean, you should basically be able to send to SpaceX if uh, it's not tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea, <laughs> a good goal. You know, a couple of years ago, uh, Eric DeBrush said that 
the future of design is lies in the ability of creating new worlds, right? And I do agree with that. I think that, you know, like um, the fact that we work in the field of visualization very often limits us to having to create the vision of somebody else um, because that's how the job goes. But I do think that in this case, we do really have the chance to create our own visions. And so I really do want to push people to explore creativity push the boundaries and use this really as a chance to put yourself out there with wild ideas, you know, um, and good luck. <laughs> I, yeah, I actually think it's interesting that you brought that up about what Eric said, because he said he was saying it in the context of like the metaverse and like the, yeah. the, the virtual world, um, because in the virtual world, as an architect, you have complete freedom to design whatever you want. It doesn't even have to be based on any kind of reality. But I think that, that actually bridges to like people being settled on Mars. This is going to become an issue as well about, especially for the first people who are living there, um, they're going to need some way to be to to relate to their original setting, right? They're going to. I think it's going to be mentally something that's going to be necessary, and that's another interesting concept. Has maybe nothing to do with this competition <laughs> or this challenge. It could be. Hey, hint, hint. I don't know, um, but that these people have a way to experience like what it was, you know, to be back on Earth, even though they're on Mars, because the environment's going to be so foreign and, un and, and different for them. So maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe there's a, a VR room in that uh, <laughs> or a metaverse room. I don't know. Anyway, I think I think that th this whole idea of uh, being settling on Mars does bring up so many things that can be explored, and it's going to be interesting to see what uh, you all come up with then. Um, one more thing, because I do think that this will come up, and people will actually ask us: Can it be an exterior? Can it be an interior image? Yeah, it can be whatever you think this should be. Right? The best. The best. The best thing to, to, to explain your concept, I think. If it's an interior, it needs to be the best interior you've ever made. <laughs> if it's an exterior, it needs to be the best exterior you've ever made. If it's an animation, it needs to be the best animation you've ever made. With an image, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to add one thing to that, because I think, like, also, I mean, not forget, I mean, it's not going to be crazy star, uh, Starship Troopers. I mean, it will still be in head. Like we are yes. still human. We have our yes. human needs. And I think that is important to bring on. Yes. Yeah, no, that's great. I think um, that will be in the rules as well, that we want it to be a realistic depiction of, of what, what it would be like life on Mars to, uh, for the first settlers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I think I think we've covered everything. Yeah, I think we've got everything. Uh, Andreas, we're really excited about this. We're going to disclose some more information about this challenge in the next days. Make sure if you're tuning in in this video that you join our uh, community page on Facebook. We're also very active on Instagram. We're going to communicate a lot of this stuff on Instagram as well. Um, Jason, Andreas, am I missing something? Am I forgetting something? I would say only that uh, you need to come back and check the description for the link to the web page, which will be up uh, later uh, because we need to make sure everything is correct and turn it on. Um, but that everything will be there. All the information you need uh, will be there. So uh, just check back here to find the link. And we'll also post that on our social media channels as soon as it's uh, ready to go. Yeah. And I can only say for me, I just look forward to follow the progress and see what people are doing and also for the final submissions. And I mean, it's always a lot of work, but you know, that's the fun part of like going through all these submissions and also having this live talk together with also the other jury members for this competition. Yes. Yeah. yes. This is going to be very exciting. Okay. So that's, uh, I think that's it for us. Uh, thanks a lot, Andreas, for being here. Uh, Fabio, for being the best talker in the world. And <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you also to everyone who joined us uh, today. Um, we had a big turnout and we are very excited to see what you guys are going to make for us. Uh, yeah, so check back later for the link. 
Good luck, everybody. This is going to be an exciting month. Thanks a lot, Andreas, again, for taking the time for tuning in. And yeah, we'll, well, I'll guess we'll see you guys online later on. Bye. Bye.